Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Our next conversation is going to be with uh, Mr. Maxwell Adele, who is the Director of Publications for the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, also called NINAS, who have, of course, uh, stated that their need for a one million man march, which was meant to be taking place on the 14th and 15th of uh, September, uh, to, of course, demand certain things from the Nigerian government and from the United Nations. Um, good morning to Mr. Adele. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Can you hear us clearly, Mr. Adele? I can hear you very well. Thanks for joining us. All right, so let's let's start with, you know, once again going through what Ninas is uh, demanding, you know, from the United Nations and the reason for the, the rally. Okay, uh, if you remember very uh, vividly, I was here when we were to start the... Uh, uh, the march. I tell you why we want to protest. Why we want to march opposite the United Nations headquarters in, the, in New York. And uh, it's just uh, as you are, you are, you are, you are in Nigeria, and uh, you understand very well that the the level of hunger, poverty, starvation, killings, genocide, banditry. Ongoing in Nigeria, and uh, we, the indigenous people from the south and middle west, that we felt the current arrangement of Nigeria is a fraud against us, uh, took it upon ourselves to let the world know everything that is happening in Nigeria, especially under the current administration. So we 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 are marching for five reasons. One, we, we, we want uh, the Nigerian government to acknowledge that there is a union discourse in Nigeria, which was the reason uh, for our the declaration of constitutional force major in December 2020. The second demand is we want the current, I mean, the current constitution of 1999 constitution of Nigeria to be decommissioned because it is a fraud. No, none, of our, none of our fathers were aware when it was passed into law. It was military imposed constitution. So uh, uh, the constitution, we, the constitution that, that is using the weight of the South and Middle people to feed a few people in the North should be decommissioned. The third one is that uh, we, the indigenous people from the South and Middle West, want the 2023 general election to be suspended until we have a new constitutional arrangement. Oh. So if the constitution is, if the constitution is, is commissioned, I mean, if we don't want a, a, another any general election, I mean, not staggered election, but general election, like that of 2023 to be conducted under this fraudulent constitution, then the fourth one is that we, 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 we want a transition government that we now give back to the five, the fifth, fifth demand, which is the referendum. It is through the referendum that people will decide on their sovereignty, on okay. their nation. All right, Mr. Adele. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For instance, in the Southwest, in the Yoruba land, some, I don't want to preempt, but some are saying they want Yoruba nation, some are saying they want resocially. Hmm. Professor Kitty, a uh, group which I belong to, want Yoruba nation. Okay. Our Baba, our leaders in our periphery said resolution. So now, let's now do go for a referendum and let the majority decide. Okay, fantastic. Yoruba, all right. Yoruba, um, that, 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 those, are, those are the five demands of Ninas. All right, all right, Mr. Adile. Yes, we're quite clear on the demands that Ninas has and what they've presented, you know, at the United Nations General Headquarters, you know, with that match. Now, in a press statement um, released yesterday, Professor Banji um, Akintoye said that. Um, the Nigerian government has mobilized people to organize a pro-Buhari rally and that the government has allegedly paid $500 to each of these persons who are staging a counter-protest. We would like to ask you more questions about that, Mr. Adele. What evidence does Ninas have that the presidency uh, is paying people to stage a counter-protest? And why do you think they're doing that? Uh, 
dear sister, you are a journalist, you are a colleague of mine. I know you very well. Have you forgotten this, uh, that the voice of the people is the voice of God? We know what is happening now. So, did you see the protesters? Can you, did you see them? We know ourselves now. We know ourselves. We have been not in this world. So, I don't want to see more than that. I'm saying, what's the, the evidence that you have that $500 dollars was paid to people for staging I, I a counter protest. The people protesting are they not human beings? Have you have you seen you as have you seen don't you have videos? Okay, let in Nigeria don't you have videos of higher protesters fighting after protest over 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 over, over money. Okay. So please let's let's just don't, don't let us go there. Um, we know what is happening. Yeah, I, I think that it should be only right and fair that you make a claim such as a claim as heavy as that and that you have the evidence to back it up. So we're journalists and we're sitting on the fence and we're asking you, if you say that the federal government has paid $500 to people to stage a counter protest, we're simply asking for proof and your evidence. And, and that really sounds fair, wouldn't you agree? Because we wouldn't want people well, to just make claims okay, okay, that it can okay, back okay. up. Let's, 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 let's get it up. Hold on, hold on. The match was, a, it was an open match. The anti, the, 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 the Nina people were there, okay? The Nina people were there. And the one Nigeria people came. Yeah. We knew, according to reports from our members, we knew what happened. And like I told you, we knew what happened. So, I, and I don't want to say more than that. So what happened? what happened? What happened, Mr. Right. Adelaide? Uh, with that, with what happened was what we said, that, well, what we told you guys yesterday. All right, Mr. Adelaide. $100, I mean, it was, it was $100 per hour, and they stayed in the process for five hours. Oh. $100 per hour. All right, okay. Mr. That, that, Adelaide. That, that's the clarity I was expecting, Mr. Adelaide. Thank uh, you. It's $100 per hour. And it's the protest, it was five, five hours. So $100 per hour is $500. So Professor Akido did not lie. Our All people right. were there. It was, it was, it was, it was the, 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 I mean, the, the match took place in the same venue. They were doing our own, our people were doing our, their own. So it wasn't a, a it wasn't an idiot thing. It wasn't an idiot thing. I mean, Mr. Adelaide, can you hold on? You know, the, the, why my colleague, I believe, was asking for further proof. And we're going to move away from this now. But well, I think why she was asking for further proof is because it's also it could be also very easy for anybody to say, oh, Nina's protesters were paid hundred dollars per hour, you know, and you know nobody is going to know where, where that information came from. So that's why she was she was digging further for proof. But but let's move on from that. Um, I want you to talk about what you hope you can achieve from this rally. You, you don't, do you expect the United Nations General Assembly? to tell the president while he's there to go back home and conduct a referendum or to go back home and, um, you know, um, make changes with the constitution. Um, that, those are not very likely to happen. So what then does Nina's hope to achieve from this rally? We, 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 we will be, we will be uh, deceiving ourselves if you think uh, the United Nations does not have a role to play. It will be deceiving ourselves. The last one, the last referendum in uh, the, the last uh, independent country in Africa, is South Sudan. We knew the role of United Nations in the in the We knew the role. We, we, I can say very expressly that the the the, the, the United Nations supervised the referendum that gave birth to the independent to, to the sovereign to the sovereign uh, uh, to the Republic of uh, South Sudan. So that is exactly what we are looking for in Nigeria. Let the, the, traditional, the traditional government to be put in there by the people, the constituents. We, we, we conduct a referendum under the supervision of the United Nations. That is what we are looking for. And uh, if the, 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 the current president of Nigeria has been borrowing, using our sovereignty and assets to borrow funds from one country to another, it means, so we are now appealing to this Western power, China, America, and they will buy arms and ammunition from foreign powers. And I'm appealing to these people, please prevail on President Buhari to grant the wish of the people. Period. Okay. So since you started the match, has there been any action or statement from the federal government or from the United Nations that indicates that there's been any progress so far based on your rally? Our, our messages are, are going to... Are, are, we, 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 you know, we have a feedback mechanism. And uh, our demand, and uh, if you remember, the post-president of the presidency, 
our senior colleague, uh, Mr. Karuba, Alaji Karuba, he will release a statement trying to paint the protest in a bad, uh, in a bad light. Uh, so that to tell you that uh, the, the, what Minas is doing is getting to the, to, the, to the people we are sending the message to. So, and uh, we hope very soon, and, uh, and, and at least when we started this constitutional force manager, the federal government quickly brought up a, a kangaroo arrangement of constitutional amendment, which is said on arrival. If out of governance, even saying it is dead, I'm not going to do a lot of those who said it's a waste of time. Have you? You heard him very expressly saying it is a waste of time. So that is to tell you that what the NAS is doing is, uh, is receiving attention. But mm. we will not allow any kangaroo or uh, any kangaroo constitutional arrangement. What we want is total overhaul, the commission of the current constitution. All right. Maxwell Adelaide, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We will look forward to speaking with you again as the rally, I believe, continues. And uh, if there's any further developments, please um, be eager to share with us. Thanks once thank again. Thank you. All right, the player. All right. From um, Ninas and a rally, and of course also from the new political parties, we're going to move away from politics now and talk sports. We're celebrating the Tigress as, of course, uh, they have qualified for the semifinals um, and, of course, the next stage of the Afro Basket Tournament. And that's our next conversation. We're going to be having a sports analyst join us to share um, his views with us on why the um, Tigress seems to be progressing compared to the male basketball team. That comes up next. <laughs>